Hi, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is a video where I'm going to show several different varieties of Vario brand Zulu nylon watch straps on uh, Omega Seamasters. I happened to find these straps online and from the pictures they look to be of decent quality. These are not the least expensive straps on the market. I think they were about $16. So a little more than the bargain price ones, but uh, I found them to be quite nice and I uh, hope you find this helpful. Thanks. So I've got these uh, Vario Zulu bands. I thought they were interesting or worth a look because they are three ring, meaning there's no extra flap here. Um, and I just like that look much better on my watches. It's cleaner. I really think the uh, extra piece of fabric is it's not really needed for most people's applications. So this is the first one. It's in red color. I think it's a beautiful shade of red. It's well constructed. Has a bit of a sheen to it, which I think looks nice. Um, I would say this is almost um, like a rose red color. Um, I actually saw this on a Seamaster on one of the photos, the manufacturer's photos, and I thought it looked really nice, actually, this model here. So that's something I'm planning on trying. Uh, let's go on to the next one. This one says olive green. Okay, it's a very nice shade. Um, it's nice. It's got a, it's it's a little bit bright for an olive green. Again, it's got the same sort of sheen. It looks to be pretty much identical material. Uh, a nice touch. They actually put their brand name on the buckle. I think that's nice. A step up from something generic. These aren't exactly as cheap as some other straps. I think they were about 16 bucks each. So they're definitely not the the cheapest straps out there, but they're definitely they're also not that expensive considering what you, you know, some of the more expensive straps on the market. You get this card with it. So here's what they call dark brown. I was curious to see if this would be closer to a black color, but it is definitely brown. Um, it's a nice color. It's the same exact material. Here's the back. This part is finished nicely, it's not too rough. I like that one as well. This is red and black. This is a little bit of a different color than this red. This is, I would say, on the red and black, the red stripe is closer to a, to a true red, whereas on the solid red it's more like a rose red. Something to note about these straps is that the the fibers themselves don't seem to be particularly thin. So, you know, you see a lot of texture in the strap. It's nothing wrong with that. Just something to be aware of. You know, this is quite different than let's say a seatbelt NATO, which is the the absolute opposite with a very fine fiber. But I think this is nice too. I think this might look good on this type of watch. So, yeah, and then the last one I tried is blue and yellow stripes so this is like the, uh, the blue angels colors blue and yellow if you have one of those watches like the citizen blue angels I, I can't think of a more perfect match uh, there are some Seamaster chronos that also would go well with this same exact material and construction it's firm, but it's also not rough. So I think that's a pretty good combination. And um, I'm going to try it on this watch and let's see how it looks. So I like the fact, I mean, obviously, thicker straps are going to be more durable, but I like the fact that this one's not crazy. And still crazily thick, so it's not 
it, it can still you know be mounted on on a watch without having to use curved spring bars. So there it is. This is actually I think exactly like what the manufacturer had put as one of its sample photos. I think it looks really nice. I think the shade of the red uh, goes very well with black. You know, a lot of the time, matching the strap really is dependent on this shade. You can't just say red will go with this because there's you know a million different shades of red. So I think this looks pretty nice. I'm gonna wear it. I think that looks pretty good. I'll try black and red stripe. Again, like the other strap, is they seem very consistent, meaning the different colors are almost, are made the same. I've seen some brands where you'll get two different color versions and then you'll see the the, the fabric is or the material is noticeably different, or the thickness might be different, but here all, all of these um, pretty much look the same to me. Got the green one here somewhere. They all look and feel the same, really equivalent quality, so here it is. I think this also looks really good on this watch. Even though it's a different red, you know, there's a tiny amount of red on the second hand, and that helps sort of bring it together with the watch. I'll try this one on now. I think it's pretty nice. You could tuck in the extra if you wanted. Um, even though it's stiff, it's not it's not um, it wouldn't it, it's not difficult to fold this material at all it's pliable enough. There it is. I really like the the quality of the material. I think on, on a you know sport or dive watch it's, it's a perfect match. I do really like the fine uh, you know fiber used for seatbelt NATOs but sometimes I think it's it's too delicate looking to go with certain watches and, and, and stuff they use on Zulus and good Zulus like this uh, works better. There it is. I think this looks really good too. The other ones, I think I'm going to have to try on other watches. I don't I don't see these as, as going. Maybe the, the green. I'll try the green on this one. The green may work with the black dial. Not bad at all. I think it's that it's really the the material. The material is, is really good, and uh, you know when something's made of good material, it, it, it definitely helps <laughs> make it uh, look better. Pretty nice. It's not a ton of extra material if you have a. Th thick wrist you're almost certainly not going to be folding this over uh, but I actually think that's to me that's a plus it's just why not have it you know fit without you know unnecessary extra material to, to make it bulkier and of course of course if these if, if the strap is too long you can always trim them there's a lot of uh, uh, videos information showing how to do that so there you go these are Vario straps I got these myself. This is not uh, sp sponsored or paid or anything. I just thought they look good from the pictures and description, um, and I wanted to give it a try. And I feel I haven't seen too many people commenting on it, so I figured I would. And like I said, for the approximately 16 bucks or so, it's a very good deal. I think. Um, you are paying a little more than the you know most budget level straps, but you're getting something of very reasonable quality fitting for, for a nice watch like this. So hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.